Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a new card featuring a Gerda Steiner Designs digital image. This digital image of a Christmas owl is part of her November challenge and it's a continuous challenge so if you participate one month and you purchase the stamp every time you participate you'll get the next month's stamp for free. Now before I go any further in this video, obviously my voice is pretty rough. I've been sick for the past week or so and i um, really trying to gain my voice back but as a teacher I constantly use my voice and it's always under a lot of stress but I um, haven't been able to uh, reach out to you guys and release a video in a couple days and I wanted to have that opportunity so excuse the voice and um, if it bothers you I guess I'm sorry and you'll have to uh, move on but I just wanted to share with you this cute image so here I am uh, coloring the image with Copic markers. I am putting the marker caps there in the corner so you can see the different things that I'm doing. I am using 31 through 37 to color the owl. I am um, using shadow areas where objects meet and also to give him a little bit of a round effect. Um, when you create a lighter area, that area kind of comes to the forefront and so to make an object appear round like the owl to make his belly appear round or to make his scarf appear round. You want to add darker shadows towards the outside and lighter color as you go in so that lighter color draws forward and appears round. I'm going to use that same principle when I color in the ornaments. In the end it doesn't actually matter with the ornaments because I wind up covering them in stickles but I wanted to give that kind of rounded effect so I was making the center appear lighter. I'm, I'm not going to show all the little detail coloring because it is a little bit tricky to get in that close, but um, I'm going to finish off the coloring just a little bit here. I am using E99 and 97 for the tree. There's nothing really um, careful about this shading. I'm just making sure to use two colors so that it doesn't look as plain and solid, so I'm just adding both those colors in, in little sporadic bits. So I'm going to do a little bit of embossing. Since it is an owl, I want it to be a nighttime scene because owls are out at night. And even though um, I want to kind of create a happy Christmas image, um, I think you can still do that with a nighttime scene. So I'm going to take these star rubber stamps from the Gerda Steiner Rubber Stein, Gerda Steiner Rubber Stamp Christmas release. She has a lot of little accessories as part of the Christmas release, and so when you order a large image stamp, you also usually get a small accessory stamp to go with it, and one of them are these fun stars. And so I have actually decided this time to use silver embossing powder. I use clear embossing powder a lot, but because I was going to use a silver glittery base for this card, or for the, um, for the scallop circle around this image, I wanted to tie in that silver with the embossing and so I've used some silver embossing. I um, ran it over with a powder bag and then I stamped it in Versamark ink and covered it in the silver embossing powder and I'm just melting that there. I just sort of sporadically put them throughout the card. They are in little bunches of three so you don't really have to worry about that rule of odds but um, just kind of spreading them throughout evenly and not leaving any one spot there. This die cut is the MFT stitched circle stackables and so you'll, when I do the distress ink here you'll really see that stitching detail come out on the edges of this die cut. With the distress ink I'm using faded jeans and black soot. I'm mostly using the faded jeans. When I do a nighttime sky for Halloween I tend to do purples but for Christmas I like to stick more in the blue family so um, I'm mostly concentrating on the faded jeans to give that blue look but I am adding just a touch of black soot around the edges you shall see in a minute to um, make sure that it, it appears dark. At first I was going around the ornaments as I usually do to add highlights but then I decided that I wasn't really liking how that turned out and instead I would just cover the ornaments with stickles and then it would be okay to bring the distress ink right over those ornaments. So I just, as you saw I added just a touch of black soot around the edge blending it out with the faded jeans and of course that silver embossing powder is resisting the ink 
And if you do notice that the silver gets dulled a little bit, you can take a lightly damp cloth and wipe over the stars so that they shine a little bit more. As I mentioned before, I'll cover the ornaments in stickles so that way I can bring the distressing closer in and also just add a lot of sparkle. I love to add sparkle to Christmas cards. So I also want to add a little bit of sparkle to his Santa hat with the frosted lace stickles. The red stickles are Christmas red stickles. And I'm going to take my Wink of Stella red glitter pen and add in just a touch more glitter on the little red areas of his accessories, his scarf, and his hat. And after that, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I put the card together, but I'm not going to show too much of the paper picking process because, as you can tell, my voice is really weak, and I'm sure you're getting a little tired of its scratchy sound. So um, to assemble the card, I just kept a simple layout where I used a lot of stripes, and I created an extra stripe here with some washi tape. The length of paper wasn't quite long enough, so as you saw when I lifted it up, I just cut it in half and stretched across underneath this silver glittery die cut. This die cut paper, or sorry, this glitter paper is from Die Cuts with a View, and I absolutely love it because the glitter does not move, it does not spread throughout your project, and I don't like glitter that spreads everywhere. So this paper is really excellent because it adds a really intense shimmer without the mess of glitter. And I'm just going to pop up the stamped image with some um, really thin foam dots from Scotch. And that's going to be it for the card today. I'll put on a white card base. I wanted to just keep it simple and really focus on that image. I was so happy that Gerda decided to make an owl. She wasn't quite sure that um, she would be able to you know, draw the owl, but we encouraged her as part of the design team, and she made it happen for us, and we're so thankful, and we think he's adorable. And so that's it for my card today. I will leave some links to the products in the video description below. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll be back with a better sounding voice in just a few days with some more videos. Have a great day. Bye.